request from the roads engineer that the roads which are the worst hit in the world, according to him, could be used. So the first roof was run and it consisted almost entirely of rally cars. There were some adventurers who entered normal vehicles or trucks, uh, four-wheel drives. The event started uh, in Johannesburg, a run down to, uh, to Lesotho. We left very early in the morning and went across at Buta Buta and across. Before that, only one lot had done it as a run across Lesotho and it had taken them six days. So this was really quite an experiment. Uh, there were about 40 cars who took part in the very first roof and none of us knew what it was about because it was an entirely new experience. We understood that it was feasible, but frankly the roads were almost impossible. Uh, it consisted of three special stages in Lesotho, uh, but Chief Jonathan really set the pattern for future off-road racing. He gave an, a prize, the Lesotho Independence Challenge Bowl, for the fastest time right across Lesotho from uh, Buta Buta to Sani Pass. Uh, the event went off well. Fortunately, the weather was good and uh, although the roads were absolutely appalling most of them were used only by four-wheel drive trucks the roof of africa is different from any other event because it is the remoteness once you're up there you really feel that you are alone and it's up to you and i think that is what has caused the spirit of the roof because anybody knows that if somebody else is in trouble they can't be left there if they're left there and can't get out at night they'll probably freeze to death. It was only at later at the later date that we introduced people having to take space blankets, having to take food. But in the early days, a competitor that broke down uh, and wasn't picked up uh, was in severe trouble. There's concern, one competitor for another, and even if they can't in fact take them away, another a competitor will always stop and ask if there's anything that can be done. I think that's the spirit of the roof.